Australian Scooter Federation, or ASF, was started about four years ago. We were a group of importers and distributors of motor scooters into Australia. We started to bring about some regulation and ethical behaviour and code of practice into an industry that was growing really quickly. We're a member of the Federal Chamber of Automotive Industries and as such we've adopted their code of practice to work towards to make sure that uh, not only the importers and distributors are doing the right thing, the retailers are doing the right thing and also our manufacturers and suppliers are doing the right thing. The purpose of ASF is that we look after the customer ultimately. We not only work with our suppliers to make sure that they adhere to the strict code of conduct, but also that all of their quality assurance is in order, if God forbid there's a recall, that that's taken care of, spare parts and backup, warranty issues, anything like that is all taken care of. Um, with government regulations, we work with state and federal government bodies to make sure that uh, the scooter community is getting taken care of and things are as they should be. That if we think tolls shouldn't be being paid by road users, we'll go to the government and say, hey, have you thought about reducing the tolls on this road to encourage two-wheel traffic into your city? We work about parking, we work um, about licensing issues, we work about a myriad of things with water for government the ultimate purpose of ASF is to make sure that the end user, the customer, the rider is taken care of. ASF is the accredited industry group. To become a member you've got to adhere to the FCAI's strict code of conduct and make sure that you're doing the right thing. The members currently are Aprilia, Benelli, Bug, Daylin, Jalira, Honda, Hyacin, Kimco, PGO, Piaggio, Saks, Suzuki, SYM, TGV, Vespa and Yamaha. All of these members operate under really strict guidelines to make sure that not only they're doing the right thing, but the retailers that they're involved with are also doing the right thing. So what have we achieved? We've worked really hard for the last four years and we're actually really proud of everything we've achieved. Uh, probably top of the list is government liaison and being the first point of call for a lot of government policy makers when it comes to anything to do with scooters. We've established a relationship and um, an identity with federal and state government departments to make sure that they come to us and talk through things, get our opinion on things and listen to us. Number two, we've worked really, really hard with the education of both retailers and the public. Um, one of the big things that comes to mind is the LA category, so making sure that 50cc scooters stay as an integral part of four states of Australia to work with, um, and make sure that the government understand their place in the transport system, and promote 50cc um, and, and um, making sure that LA scooters become a part of all the scooter mixes in all of the states. So working with states even that aren't looking at 50cc and trying to educate them about how and why they'll fit into the mix. Uh, media consultation, we have established such great relationships with the media now that if there is an article on scooters or, um, or someone wants to talk about regulation of transport policies, they actually give us a call now and talk to us about and get our opinion on scooters as part of the mix and, and or models that are up and coming and all the rest of it. Uh, quality control, mainly working with the FCAI so that customers are protected and the industry is regulated. So we've got really strict standards that we all have to adhere to. And participation in government forums. Each member has almost been given their own area to work with whether it be state, local, council or federal groups that they talk to um, and are involved with the decision making process again. The future goals of ASF are to make sure that we remain the peak industry group for the scooter future of this country as well. All things scooters, that we are the point of call. We want to maintain our ongoing relationships with the government, with the media, with retailers, 
to make sure if there are any issues, any problems, anything that looks promising, they come to us to discuss it. And above all, we want to make sure that scooters are an integral part of every future transport policy paper in this country, whether it be federal, state or country.